Hey yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy XConet y'all with a brand new video and as you guys can see we've picked up the new Diamond Jerry Lucas So if you guys are excited make sure you guys smash the like button down below and comment What you guys think of the Jerry Lucas as we get on throughout the gameplay as well as any other gameplays that you guys want to see from today um, The odds of picking up Walt Frazier probably aren't going to be too high unless I can find somebody um, who has them on the PS5 account? We can get a gameplay that way because he's just going to be going way too expensive because of the lock in. But Jerry Lucas is looking to be a pretty solid power forward. Um, sadly, is 6'8. Would have preferred if a little bit taller, <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, really good post guy, really good shooter, like a really good shooter. Um, dunking is actually pretty solid as well, although the standing dunk tendency isn't high, so we won't get a lot of standing dunks. Uh, but other than that, Looking pretty solid. We're not going to be a perimeter defender. Mainly going to be a post guy. Good rebounding. Um, a pretty decent speed. If we add clamps to him, we actually could be a decent perimeter guy. Um, but you can see, Jay Lucas is meant to be just that knockdown shooter that gets rebounds. Because he does have the Hall of Fame rebound chaser. Um, and really just does that sort of stuff. And then plays in the post. We also come with gold deep threes, circus threes, sniper, green machine. All that wonderful stuff already on the card. Um, no clamps, but you do have the ability to add it. Um, really boost up that defense. So if you're serious about picking up a Jerry Lucas card and really making this card just absolutely insane. Um, things that I would definitely recommend you do is add yourself a quick first step onto him. For sure, a downhill would um, really help as well as, you know, maybe a pogo stick, a posterizer, um, and clamps. That really would help you quite a bit. Um, although he does have a pretty low, um, you know, perimeter defense already and some pretty bad tendencies. So even if you do badge up that defense, beware that it's still going to not feel the most amazing, but inside, it'll feel pretty good. Um, without further ado, let's hop into the freestyle, check out Jerry Lucas's animations, and see if he really can be that guy. All right, so here we are with Jerry Lucas. Player build actually looks exactly the same from last year. Not really much has changed. Um, we, we do not have our um, shot meter on. It's in the controller settings. So let's go through and do... No, that was on layups only, wasn't it? Uh, we're messing up a whole bunch of things. Uh, move that to shots only. Um, there we go. And now we can check out Jay Lucas, who does have the Ray Allen jump shot base. So if you are somebody um, who just uses square, this actually is one of my favorite jumpers to just use with the button straight up. Um, like it is, it's really smooth. It's really clean. We're obviously missed Tommy because it's the first time we've touched 2K today. But you know what? It should make this Jerry Lucas um, just an absolute demon because the Ray Allen jumper base um, is smooth. Although, there we go. We haven't really been showing it off too much. Also, we do have the gold deep three, so we can kind of spray it out here uh, with that Ray Ray base, which is going to be fun, which is going to be nice. Uh, and now that we're starting to get a little bit of the hang of it, yeah, there we go. There we go. Starting to work it a little bit uh, with Jerry Lucas. Yeah, this is going to be the main thing that he's going for. I feel like Jerry Lucas is kind of meant to be that, like, you know, pick and pop kind of power forward. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Also going to be a pretty nice slasher to the basket, or at least finisher at the basket. But you can see, we got a low speed with ball, so actually getting there is going to be tough, and we don't have a quick first step. But once he does get there, I think he will be able to finish actually quite well. Um, we'll check the leaner, which doesn't look that bad, actually. From midi, um, I think he might actually be able to hit a, um, a few of them pretty consistently. Let's try it from three. <laughs> all right, all right, Jerry Lucas. I'm um, going off. He does not have difficult shots as a badge, so um, it will not be getting any sort of boost. You're really purely relying on your timing and the other shooting badges. But you know what? His shooting is so good, we're still smacking him out. So we'll check out uh, real quick the moving behind the back, uh, which doesn't look to be too great. And the moving cross actually seems pretty quick, pretty nice for those that you know what like to go out there and do that. Actually. Okay, that's a little bit more like, all right, I lied. It is very slow, so Jerry Lucas is not going to be um, your shooting guy. Really get meant to be that pick and pop guy, you know, catch it in the corner, run to the paint, get those dunks, and that's really about it, which is, isn't a bad power forward. Um, let's try to get one more green, preferably off dribble before we hop into the gameplay. Let's see if we can do it. First try. All right, we can't do it first try. Um, we'll just completely choke it like we always do. Here we go. Come on, Jerry, there's the green. And now let's hop right into the gameplay. All right, here we go. We got Blake versus Bismack Biombo, which is, um, okay, not good for the jump ball, apparently, but actually is going to be pretty solid for us um, overall. We can set this to the straight up that we always do. Shot down the Kyrie Irving, um, and it looks like we have a Tatum in there. If it's the pink diamond, that's actually going to be pretty tough, but if it's just the normal one, I'm not too worried, and yeah, it looks like the normal Amethyst, although out-rebounding Jay Lucas out here. <laughs> Look at that. Um, Biombo is going to be smacking out of midi there. 
but Tatum Sapphire isn't a great defender, so it actually should help us out a little bit. But let's run the freelance, call the pick and pop with Jay Lucas, preferably on this side, get Curry in the paint. And you know what? We'll try to off dribble to start it off with Lucas. All right, all right, we're messing it up, but I'll have to tighten it up going in here. And ooh, faking me out a little bit. All right, Jerry Lucas is gonna be passing into Curry, so we're gonna, you know, take. Oh, all right, we're gonna take a second, and we are going to set the pick and pop um, correctly this time um, into there. And boom, let's go get it quick. Fake him out a little bit, and oh, Jerry Lucas was beautifully open, but the reach and foul on the pass, which I don't love. Uh, but this is the first time Jerry Lucas isn't passing it in, so maybe we can hop up here and get something wild to start it off the pass. There's the green with Jerry Lucas for three points. Looking pretty nice for us. Uh, let's play some defense. Apparently on Bismack Biombo, and then we'll be good. But, oh my, terrible off dribble using the shot stick. Not going to be great for him. Uh, and uh, Full court pressing and reaching again. Hate to see it, but, oh, giving it to Jerry Lucas. He's running at us with Kawhi, but we got over it enough. For the way to fall, six points with Jerry Lucas looking beautiful for him there. Um, looks like our guy's trying to use the shot stick after seeing us do it, but just does not have the facilities um, to use that. Oh, there we go. AK stealing the rebound right out of our guy's hands, but let's give it to him. Another off triple. That one's also going to be green. Nine points for Jerry Lucas along with that one assist. Um, looking nice out here, and we just got to start getting those rebounds because with the half rebound chaser, I'm expecting to kill it over there. And he hasn't so thus far, but you know what? There's still time. There we go. Shutting down Kawhi. That is not going to be going. And he actually felt... Oh, we weren't even looking. Uh, let's get it back to Jay Lucas. Hop back. Kyrie. Not going to stop us, right? We were wrong. Okay. There we go. Finally shutting down Kyrie right there. We can see Jay Lucas um, on the break right there. Gold deep three is giving me the green with a right Allen base. Thank you very much. 12 points for Jay Lucas. And he is just looking wonderful right now at least from shooting haven't been able to do too much on the post <laughs> all right here we go and um pl was playing a little bit um towards jerry lucas which i was hoping to see actually because he just hasn't really done it too much there's the pick and pop um and still not getting too much space between him and anthony davis but getting to the paint and the dunk for jerry lucas 14 points right there looking gorgeous ah and we jumped just a little bit too early to stop that um ruby luca is now the guy that he's going with every single time against Diamond Andre Karolinko of all players. So interesting to see that. Okay, we're finally missing some whites out here, which is looking good for us. Jay Lucas out there running wide open from three. Oh, nearly agreed. That one not going to be falling and um, getting tips on passes that he definitely should not. Just randomly jumping at him and they're working for him. Playing defense uh, with Rudy Gobert on the perimeter is not what I recommend. There's the driving dunk with Rudy Gobert. Or with Jerry Lucas, 16 points. And there we go. Inbound steal with our boy Jerry Lucas. Real quick, run it out to the three. All right, we can't smack it. Again, a little bit um, too confident with that one right there, which, yeah, you know, it's, it's a bit understandable. It is what it is. Uh, still trying to cheese it up with Luka, not making the smartest of shooting decisions, but still taking some of them nonetheless. There it is. Luka is getting some of the crazy rebounds out here, um, which you don't love to see. The lateral quickness on Jerry Lucas is kind of showing out right now, um, but... It's interesting guarding our guy because every time he gets in the post, he kind of tries to do like these little weird spin layups. There's Lucas with another drive, but he comes in there, does weird spins, and it's a little bit interesting. But glass cleaner takeover for Jerry Lucas. Um, 18 points. Looking good so far. Just not shooting the right. You can see it right there. He's doing that cheesy spin move um, right there. Kind of just walks out a little bit and then does that spin move back into the paint. Basically, every single time that he can is like his bailout option. So that's kind of all we have to guard really because he's not doing anything else too much. All right, here we go running up. And I want to call some more pick and pops with Lucas. And all right, finally actually getting it there. There's the pick and pop. He's fully off balling it, which um, I think is interesting because Jerry Lucas has shown he can hit the off dribbles. There's the excellent 22 points right there. Um, full off ball by our guy right here, which is kind of interesting. Maybe we'll switch it to ourselves um, just to see what's going on. Um, is what it is playing good defense with cards that don't have defense and now off balling fully on jerry lucas which is letting him get open and there we go finally hits an open layup jerry lucas's shooting percentage this quarter has been absolutely terrible uh but you know it is what it is we'll have to increase it um as we go later on in the game 
All right, so now he's hitting whites in the face of Andre Karolinko, which is insane. Let's get it back to Jerry Lucas. Our guy's hopping on Mike, and there's the dunk with Jerry finally not being a pump at the pay. 28 points right there. He's talking some trash on Mike, uh, but it is what it is. He's played off ball all game, uh, besides the jump passes, uh, which is interesting. There we go. Kobe taking those. Should be a quick little shutdown. Blake Griffin's got that one as well. Trying to draw charges, trying to be a little bit cheesy, but there we go. Green light, talk some trash and play some defense. Finally getting a little something uh, with Jerry Lucas, which is looking good. Starting to turn this game a little bit. All right, let's see if we can get the Wade Lucas connection um, right here. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I guess we can get a wide open, what could have been a wide open Jerry Lucas. Eventually gets his own rebound and puts it up for 33 points and four rebounds. But man, oh man, he really just is terrible in the paint man seriously is terrible in there there we go blake griffin with another board right there we got our guy d wade over in the corner still trying to draw the charges still trying to get the cheesy stuff there which leads a wide open green light jerry lucas uh, he's trying to get toxic out here thinks he's getting real nice out but there we go quick little 35 for jerry lucas now we have eight seconds left with jerry lucas here Anthony Davis is on us. We get the snatch. Whoop, got him to jump. And the layup at the end of the quarter goes in for Jerry Lucas. 38 points. Um, still a three-point lead. He's going to try to get a shot off in point three, but you can't. So there it is. Going into the fourth with a three-point lead. Looking pretty nice, but this Jerry Lucas car so far just has not been it. See if he starts to play any on ball. No, he's not going to play some on ball because he's scared to do it himself. So we'll just give it to Curry and we'll get our, all, our greens off dribble nice and easy. Um, he's been getting pretty cocky and pretty confident talking some trash. But we literally have only used Jerry Lucas basically all game. So nothing too great for him. Oh my, Biombo is snagging the terrible oop. And then the Jerry Lucas, who we weren't even controlling jumps and gives him a two free throws, which is... Not wonderful, man. This Jerry Lucas really has just felt like a terrible defender. Um, seven rebounds, but hasn't felt like a great rebounder and honestly just has not been scoring how I want him to. So far, Kana has been a bit of a flop, but we'll see if we can redeem ourselves um, here a little bit. Uh, there is a wide open Jerry Lucas. Thank you. There's our green. 41 points, but they have not come easy uh, for this Jerry Lucas, man. It's been a grind. Oh, Wade snagging that one. Threw in, throwing the scary of a pass. Jerry Lucas out there. Open again. Another green. This one contested. There we go. Right as I'm talking trash about him. Steps it up a little bit. I'm looking a little bit better right now to start the fourth. I mean, look at what. He drove straight into Dwayne Wade. And then D. Wade gets called for the fouls. That's just kind of what's been happening this game. He's finally starting to miss some free throws. But, like, I don't understand how that's a foul on Dwayne Wade. That's just me. Uh, but is what it is back to curry jerry lucas is out here running let's just let's give it to the guy uh, we had Kawhi Leonard on our back which eagles green light 46 points for jerry lucas he's starting to kill it a little bit i'm um, in this fourth and getting those open threes to fall uh, but still just has not performed up to what i want to and the straight line drives with james harden apparently are um beautiful let's get it back to our guy trailing Ooh, over a step and getting to the paint and, oh no Oh, what could have been a beautiful dunk over James Harden just gets completely shut down. Um, two more free throws, and he's two of five from the free throw line. All of these have been pretty well-timed, 80%, and he's still missing them, which, yeah, it's crazy. This Jerry Lucas really just does not feel like a great card. Oh, ooh, Curry snagging the board um, instead of Jerry Lucas, who's actually running out very wide open right now. Of <laughs> Dribble is going to be falling 50 points, starting to do what he should have been doing all game um, and smack out these threes, but it's not looking good for us. My guy is back on a mic and getting fouls every time he goes to the paint with James Harden, which is a little bit tough. Nope, there we go. Dwayne Wade with the board. We got Wade and Lucas out here running. He's still trying to get his charges, but oh, had a wide open Lucas. Still kind of gets wide open, jumping at us with Kawhi Leonard because he really just does not um, want us to get everything. And then his Kawhi gets some off ball steals. He really hasn't done anything when it comes to defense by himself. Um, but it is what it is. Still full court pressing, thinking he has a chance to win this game. But in all honesty, there's no way. All right, so the guy actually just held us on the pause timer. And then right before the pause timer went up, quit the game um, just to waste my time a little bit. Now, if I had to be honest, this Jerry Lucas played like absolute dookie for like the first half of the game. Um, kind of came back towards the second and played a little bit better. But if I had to be 100% honest with you, 
it's not worth your time. He misses everything in the paint, really just does not make a lot. So you have to, I think, badge it up, you know, posterizer, pro touch, rise up, acrobat, you know, things like that to really move and make this Jay Luke is a little bit better, you know, a quick first step and things like that, but it's just not worth it. He's way too slow laterally. He's way too bad on the perimeter. Um, really just not worth your time. Um, after this video, we're doing a Xavier McDaniel game, and hopefully he can play a little bit better as a power forward, um, but we'll have to see. Like the video, guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys think about toxic people like this who we're going against. And subscribe if you guys are new. We are on that road to 10K subscribers. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next video.